Hi everybody, Dale Campbell here at Don Johnson Motors in Rice Lake, Wisconsin. Today I'm going to tell you about our 2018 Chevrolet Traverse. This is a 1LT all-wheel drive in pepper dust color. Great looking vehicle, it is an all-wheel drive. Fuel economy on that, with the 3.6 V6, you can expect to get 25 miles per gallon on the highway, 17 in the city. So very good for this size vehicle. Got the daytime uh, LED driving lights along with projector beam headlamps. It has fog lamps on the front there as you can see. It's a great look. It's got the turn signals and the outside rear view mirrors to give you a little more visibility when you're making corners for the people around you. Let's take check out the inside of it now. It's got the jet black cloth interior. This is a seven passenger vehicle. Buckets in the front, buckets in the center row, and of course the three person third row. It's a manual adjusting front passenger seat. Drivers is of course power. These are heated front seats. Nice armrest for you to store things in. There's a light in there, as you can see. There's a tray that comes out. It's nice and deep, very handy, convenient, comfortable for your driver and the passenger. And right ahead of it, of course, your parking brake. And because it's the all-wheel drive, and even if it wasn't, we have the the control for the drive line, so we can run it in uh, front-wheel drive or switch it to all-wheel drive. Of course, we've got a little bit of the treacherous road type, mountain type driving in trailer mode because we did put a trailer hitch on this vehicle. Cup holders that are handy to use. And then I know it's not that easy to see, but down in front there, there is a couple USB ports along with an input for an iPod and a 12 volt power outlet. Nice little storage area also. So then, of course, right above it, we've got the dual climate control for both the driver and the passenger. Can adjust their temperature to be comfortable. And then, of course, above that, we do have the. Uh, the MyLink radio system. It's going to come up here in just a moment. It's a very nice feature. Where you have AM, FM, and XM radio, you're able to also uh, stream music from your phone if you have Bluetooth on there. I know those icons don't appear that clear, but you got the audio, then there's a phone, and then there's projector because it has the ability to have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Both very convenient, easy features to use. You have the settings then on the far left in the bottom row, the text because, of course, you can do hands-free texting with voice if you have an Apple or an Android. And, of course, there's the OnStar button. That's a duplication because there's OnStar buttons up above in the overhead console. And then there's the switch for the rear climate control. It's a very nice and easy system to use. There is also a nice little storage area behind this. So press and hold the button below, and that opens up. So now you have a place where you can maybe put your phone because there is a USB port in there, so you could charge it. Maybe some valuables if you want to go out for a run but didn't want to have those with you. Just a nice little pocket that people aren't aware of. So we'll make our way around now to the second row. We'll take a look at the, uh, the doors and areas. There's some French, French stitching in the door panels. It's also in the seat. It's also in the edge of the dash. Storage pockets for other things. A couple bottle holders in the door. Very nice, convenient layout. So the second row is buckets. Uh, we do have access to get to the third row from here, even though there's buckets. Yes, you could go between, but the idea is that this passenger seat would pivot forward. It is designed to continue to hold a front-facing child seat when we do that. So right here, there's a handle we can grab hold and pull. And I know you aren't going to see this very well when I'm holding the camera, but I'll step back and you can see the results. So that angle did not change. Yes, the passenger seat front could go ahead a little more if necessary with the child seat in there, but that gives you a very nice entry and exit room to go to that third row seat. As you can see, we do have one third row seat down, the other one is up right now. We're going to go to the back and check out that nice storage space that's back there. And push the seat back. When we do that, that seat does stay ahead a few inches because we're expecting people are going to sit in the back seat. That is on a track, there's a handle underneath that we can lift to of course slide that seat backwards. So we'll make our way to the back now. Safety features on the back of the vehicle are Ultrasonic rear park assist, it's got a backup camera, it's got rear cross traffic alert, so lots of things that can help make it easy and safe as you are backing your vehicle up. It does have a power lift gate, I'm going to press the remote in my hand a couple times, up it comes. Nice and easy, we did set it currently on the three quarter mode, so that did not open to its fullest height. We can reach up and push it to its fullest height. We can also program where we would like that to stop if you have a limitation of height Maybe it's in a parking ramp. Maybe it's at home inside of your garage. Lots of reasons where maybe you would not want that gate to open fully so we don't damage it. 
Again, as you can see, one side is down, the other is up. We can put that down, the other side down by pulling this tether here. It uh, will release, I'm gonna put that headrest up. So when guests are back here, our headrest is up. When there's nobody here, it's kind of convenient for the driver not to have that up. It gives you a little more visibility back here, but we're gonna pull this tether. When I do that, that headrest is gonna pivot. And then of course we can push that seat forward and down and you have a nice flat surface. Okay, that second row, we can also lay down from back here if we need to. And I retract that. It's in another model that has that. I'm sorry about that. But third row, we do have some USB ports back here. So your guests that are riding in the third row can use them, of course, to power up that device. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, it does have a hitch. It's behind that cover right there. We'll work our way forward now. We do have a capless uh, fuel system behind that door. There is no gas cap. We press and open it. It pops open. And, yeah, just take the gas nozzle and put it in and fill your vehicle up. It's got the passive entry system. Notice on the doors, we just have this silver button to push that would unlock or lock the doors if we're at the rear on the driver's side or the other two buttons on the passenger side. Come to the driver's door if the vehicle is locked just like using your remote, press that, and of course the door would unlock. Press it a second time and the rest of the car unlocks, just like your remote would. Also would lock the vehicle. So we open the door and we take a look at the inside of the driver's door. Like on the passenger door, we do have a power door lock switch ahead of the door handle. But then just on the driver's door, you have your mirror adjusters for right or left mirrors. The next switch right here, of course, would lock out the rear window switches. So if you had younger children in the back that were playing with the windows or even adults, hit that switch, it locks those windows. And we've got the, the four window power switches. All four windows have express down. The driver's window has express up also. So now when you're leaving that drive through, you can pull up on the switch, let go of it, the window goes all the way up, and you're good to continue driving. Right below that, of course, there's that power rear hatch switch. Again, it's set in the three-quarter mode. You could shut it off and make it manual or put it to the max so it always opens to its full height. Again, nice storage pockets in the door for different things. Driver's seat, of course, is six-way power. You're going to see actually six-way for just the base. Then you have your recliner, two-way there, and a power lumbar. So it's actually a 10-way power driver's seat. Again, it's got the automatic headlamps. We don't have to worry about those. There, of course, the switch here is in the auto mode. If you want to adjust the dash lights at night, press this, turn that knob to make them brighter or dimmer for your comfort. And off to the right here, we've got the, um, the fog lamp switch. Turn them on and off. Cruise control is located on the left-hand side of the steering wheel. And of course, on the right, you have your driver's information center buttons along with the voice activation buttons. If you need to uh, make hands-free calls, change radio stations, um, talk to Siri or hey Google with your Bluetooth, lots of nice features with that. And yes, the vehicle is equipped with OnStar. It has Wi-Fi capability. We would help you download the My Chevrolet app into your phone so you can use your phone and remotely start or lock or check different features and uh, fluids and so forth on the vehicle. Lots of nice, nice things. Again, another safety feature this does have is uh, lane departure warning and blindside zone alert. Um, little symbol right here in the outside rear view mirror. We'll talk about that when you stop in. So lots of neat features with the 2018 Chevrolet Traverse. It's a 1LT again, all-wheel drive and pepper dust. If you have any questions about this vehicle, give myself a call. It's Dale Campbell. You can reach me here at Don Johnson Motors at 715 475-1414. Thanks for stopping by today.